In this video, I want to show you how to graph a change in demand. But first, it's good to understand why demand can change. And so I just want to give you a few examples. So de demand could change if people's income increases or decreases, if there's a change in people's tastes and preferences, or if there's a change in the price of a substitute or a complement for the good. So for example, let's say that the price of natural gas is decreasing. If the price of natural gas is going down, then that's going to affect demand for coal. And the reason is, is that coal and natural gas can both be used to heat people's homes. And so they're substitutes for one another. So if the price of natural gas is going down, natural gas is becoming cheaper. And so then people will demand less coal. And so what does it mean to say that there's an increase in demand? Well, basically, if there's an increase in demand, the demand curve is going to shift to the right. And if there's a decrease in demand, it's going to shift to the left. So let's just say we've got here, here's our, our, our graph, and we've got our demand curve. It's downward sloping. So this is D1. And now if demand increases, if we say there's a change in demand and demand increases, what we're saying is that this, this is going to shift to the right and we're going to have an entirely new demand curve conversely if it were to be an inc or decrease in demand it would shift to the left and we would have a, a demand curve that would be over here i want to give you an example that'll make it a little bit easier to understand so let's say that there's a very famous musician in your country who begins wearing pink jeans right so they start wearing pink jeans everywhere they wear pink jeans to the academy awards to the super bowl everybody sees them wearing pink jeans and so they say hey i want to wear pink jeans too you could see where this would affect people's tastes and preferences so now because this is a very famous musician this is increased demand for pink jeans so we're going to say this increases demand for pink jeans so i want to show you what demand is for pink jeans before this happens, before the musician starts wearing these pink jeans, we say that here's our quantity demand. This is our demand schedule. So at different prices, we can see what is the quantity of jeans demanded. So at $100, let's say there are 12 units or, or 12 pairs of pink jeans or 12,000, however you want to think about it. There are 12 demanded at a price of $100. So at $100, we'd be right here at, at 12. Okay, and then at a price of two hundred dollars, the demand amount demanded would be nine, so that would put us right here. And so I've already I've, I've got this is our demand curve. This is our demand curve right here before the musician starts wearing the pink jeans. But again, we said that there was an increase in demand. So what does that mean? That means that this curve is going to shift to the right. So how is it going to shift? Well, at each price, at each of these prices. Now there is a higher amount, a higher quantity demanded. So at $100, before it was that they demanded 12 pairs of pink jeans, but now it's 15. At not, uh, $200, it was nine jeans demanded, now it's 12. So it's increased the, afterwards, after this musician has done that, it's changed people's preferences. So now they're demanding more pink jeans at every single price. So now we need to shift our curve to the right. And so what we're going to notice is that if we look at, let's look at a price of $500. Now in the past, they demanded zero. So we ended up right here. But now they're demanding three pairs of jeans. So that's going to put us right here. And actually, if we were to put, map out this entire, all the new quantity demanded, if we were to map that all out, that would give us a new demand curve that is going to look like this. So there's our new demand curve. And I'm going to call that D2. I'm just going to put D2 too. So we remember that this is the second demand curve. We had D1 was our first demand curve. Now look, this has shifted to the right. You see how we have shifted the demand curve? So this is, this is reflecting that we have had an increase in the demand for pink jeans, right? This is the market for pink jeans. Now you might be wondering, you say, okay, well, that's easy enough. We have an increase in demand. We shift the curve to the right. Well, you might be thinking, well, what happens to price and, and of the pink jeans and, and so forth? So to understand that, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to draw a supply curve. I, I don't have all the, the quantity supplied and everything. I'm just going to draw a generic curve just to, give you, just to give you an idea of how it would affect price for the pink jeans. So here's our, this is our supply curve. I'll just call that S. Now, our initial equilibrium. 
our initial equilibrium was right here okay so we'll just call that we'll say that that is q1 and then here is p1 that's our initial price somewhere between two and three hundred dollars now because we have a new demand curve because we've now shifted to the right remember supply isn't affected supply just stays the same so but we have a new demand curve and so now there can be a new equilibrium so the new equilibrium is going to be and let, let me change colors again so let, the new equilibrium is going to be here right this point right here where the supply curve and the the d2 intersect so now we're going to have q2 which would be about right right here and then we're going to have p2 somewhere between three and four hundred dollars so now what you see is that p2 is greater than p1 what does that mean that means the price of the pink jeans has gone up and now again we're talking about the relative price it might not be the actual relative to the average price of other goods and services pink jeans have become more expensive and we also see that q2 is greater than q1 see that and that means that basically people are now demanding demand has increased for pink jeans people want to buy more pink jeans because they saw that famous magician uh, wearing the pink jeans and now they want some and then that has increased the price of the pink jeans as we have shifted our demand curve to the right